Yo, what is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Mumbleet. Welcome back to another video. And today we have the 80 plus player pick. I'm gonna show you the best ways to grind this, how you can do it for cheaper, how you can do it for potentially break even, or if you wanna do it for profit, uh, you can do it that way. All the different things you can put this into because this is truly um, gonna be an insane grind. So if you do enjoy, feel free to smack the like button, subscribe if you're new, and let's get it. So what are the requirements of this? It's an 80 plus. Um, it's only one of two, which is a little bit sucky, um, but it is what it is. It's only eight cards needed. All need to be gold and only one rare, which is a huge W from EA in terms of the price. If you're bidding 350 on common golds, that's going to come around, I think, 2,400 uh, coins. Let me get the math out. I think it's 2,450. Um, and then 600 for a gold rare, if you can get it on bid for 600. So let's do the math real quick. 350 times 7. 2,450 plus 600 for the gold rare. That's going to be 3,050 coins. Now, how are you going to pick up these gold commons and what can you do with the gold rares? Let's start walking through it. So first and foremost, let's take a look to see how much gold commons are going for. Looks like they're going for 500 coins within a minute. If we go to 550, you're going to see a drop off, but they're still going for 550 within the hour. So what you can do and what um, I'll be doing throughout this week on streams with you guys is you have the ability to mass bid on gold commons. Now, you might want to try 350 at first. There might be a lot of competition. There should be some open bids. But as the buy now goes up or as competition goes up, you may be better off taking a little less profit, maybe bidding 400 instead and trying to sell for that 550 instead of the 500 pretty quick. Uh, you can rotate kind of back and forth between different filters with this. If you notice some leagues are better than others to use, like maybe La Liga, you keep getting outbid on those cards because they're in high demand for the league SBC. Those are the things to consider, but for the most part, just mass bid on those and kind of calculate, store the seven in your club that you need for the SBC, and then maybe calculate how many coins you're getting per card and see how many you need to pay for the full pack if you are trying to make coins on the SBC or break even. Now, the beautiful thing with gold rares is you really only need to ever buy one gold rare. And I will explain why. Um, well, technically, you actually might need to get more. Uh, but let's show you what I mean. So gold rare, you're going to buy one for 600 off the market, open bid. Um, and then after you do that, you can put it in. Let's say you open this 80 plus player pick. And let's say it's a crap 80. You really don't want to put it into anything else. You want to make another player pick. You can take that 80 rated gold rare. You can chuck it right back into this SBC. No worries whatsoever, which takes off 600 coins for the next time you go through, which like we talked about before, if you're picking up the cards for 350, that's going to be 2,450 coins to do the next player pick. So you cut the cost down quite a bit. Uh, you can do that over and over. Same thing applies if you have gold commons untradeable in your club, whether it's from like, let's say, uh, squad battles, division rivals, uh, foot champs, league SBC grind, whatever that is, anything untradeable you have or anything that you already have in your club, uh, you can use in the SBC itself. Which brings me to the next point. I would recommend um, using league SBCs as a way to get a lot of gold commons. I'll show you real quick. The premium mix league upgrade. Prime, goals, prime gold players pack at the end, which gives you 12 golds, six rare, six common. That's going to be great. Um, 82 plus guaranteed in there. And then you have all these packs where you can go get gold players from, uh, which will be really nice to help you build the 80 plus player picks if you're someone who doesn't want to just sit there and bid on gold commons. Now, if you're wanting to know how to do the league SBC grind, I'm going to link my how to grind the league SBCs video in the description. Take a look at it. We walk through each of the teams, how I do it, how you can save coins on it, and how you can use the packs to essentially make you more packs and do an unlimited grind with that. Um, so those are the two big things. And then in terms of what you can put things into, um, if you get boards or walkouts, like let's say you get a really good walkout, we do have the 89 plus FIFA World Cup um, or Prime Icon upgrade out um, for the next five days. I got the 88 done. I'm going to be using the player picks to craft the 86 raid squad and the 85. But let's say you have a, I don't know, let's say you have an 82 rated card or an 83 rated a card. You don't really want to throw it back into the 80 plus player pick. You want a place to put it. What is a good place to put it? We have the Future Stars Academy, which some people are really upset with the rating needed for this. If you haven't seen this yet, um, it's 50 times repeatable for the next 25 days. And you need an 82 rated squad for a player pick of one of three gold rares. Now, you might be asking yourself the question, why is it this expensive? Why is it 82 rated? If I buy this out, it's going to be super super waste of coins absolutely 
you should not buy this out. I do not think it's worth it. But if you need a place to put, like we just said, those 82, 83, maybe 81 rated cards, this will be the place to put it. If you are spamming a bunch of player picks, if you're spamming a bunch of league SBCs, you are bound to be able to craft at least all 50 of these um, by the end of the 25 days um, if you're constantly on the game. And even if you don't play that much, you'll notice most people will probably get at least like 10 to 25 um, without even trying and not really spending any additional coins just from what they're getting from the player picks, league SBCs, and other stuff that is out. Now, there's a bonus with the Future Star Academy too. If you haven't seen, it's the objective that people are really working towards. Um, it's the Tavares card, which if you complete it all the way through, as you see here, you get an 84 version for 10 times through. As you work your way all the way down to 50 completions, you get an 83 plus double players pack and that final uh, Tavares card, which is 88 rated. So um, you get decent rewards throughout here. Nothing crazy, crazy, but bonus kind of fodder, bonus packs. Um, if you're going to be grinding them to begin with, it's just bonus stuff. Uh, so keep that in mind if you want to get those done from the player picks or league SBCs. But yeah, that's going to be basically it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'll be doing this on stream throughout the week. We'll be doing a player pick every five likes on stream. So if you guys do enjoy the streams, smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. We will see you there. It's been your boy Mumbley. I'm out. God bless.